<laughs> Sorry about that. My phone got cut off. Um, yeah, I pressed the I pressed the call by my mistake. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that, that, that woman needs a raise. Well, I, I don't even think she's well. Yeah, she's a woman, but like she's like like she looks like about 30 30 ish. Yeah, and she and like she's cleaning this entire park by herself. It's crazy. I mean, like you, you see how dirty it is, man. There's like leaves all over the place and everything. But they, they clean it now because they, they used to just leave the leaves there like the whole winter. And because like nobody really used to come out here to play basketball in the winter time. Like, it's cold as hell out here. But I think it wasn't until like um, late 2014, last year, um, I started coming here and playing in the winter time because really like there's no place to play in the winter time. Um, and yeah, so they, I don't know, ever since last year when I started playing here in the winter time, when it's cold as shit out, um, they, they clean the park now. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> if you could believe it, it's like, who knew one person could make that much of a huge difference, dude? I mean, that's awesome. Um, anyway, like, for the most part, the only reason I really made this video was because I wanted to give some shout outs to some to some YouTubers that actually helped me out with my game a lot. Um, yeah, I, I've gotten a lot of progression lately, and I have to give I have to give a huge thanks to these YouTubers. Um, uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give well, not just YouTubers, also um, I'd like to give a shout out to Josh, my um, my basketball trainer from high school. Um, <laughs> yeah, Josh, he uh, he taught me. Actually, <laughs> tell you the truth, Josh. He, uh, Josh used to have me do the same. He used to have me do this. <laughs> he used to have me do these like pound type drills, right? Like every time we met, and I'm like, um, Josh, what are we, what are we doing? <laughs> but like, you know, what it reminds me. It reminds me of um that movie, um, The Karate Kid. What he, they would have he would have him doing like cleaning stuff or like like doing little motions and stuff like that and he's <laughs> and the kid is like oh what, what the hell are we doing I thought we were gonna practice karate but yeah so <laughs> yeah Josh had me doing like these pound drills and stuff and like little in and out type things right and he did that to help me get my game better and you know I always thought we were just wasting time, but apparently not. And he told me to practice this stuff on my own. Uh, I think I was like around 16 years of age. So, yeah, I practiced. I did this drill every day from 16 years of age. Um, holy crap, people are actually coming out here and it's freezing out, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, big big shout out to Josh. You're awesome. Um, another next shout out. Um, Ray Baldwin, I'd like to give you a huge shout out, dude. Um, you've had a huge influence on my life, you know. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. Like, I didn't. Um, the first time I came across your channel, um, it was what was it? Um, oh yeah, I had no idea, dude. <laughs> if you could believe it, I had no idea what the hell a crossover was. <laughs> so, um, here's what I did. I went on YouTube, right? You know, back then, elementary, those elementary school days, dude, um, there was no YouTube, so the only way you could really learn, like, NBA moves, really, was to either watch the NBA, like, watch players like, um, Allen Houston, Allen Iverson, and then you watch those guys play, or you buy a DVD cassette. <laughs> that was the only way you could learn NBA moves. It just goes to show you how, um, how far we've advanced. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I searched crossover on YouTube and then I found Dre Baldwin's channel. And yeah, he taught me how to do the crossover. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> it, took, it took me a while to get used to it. But, yeah, I got it eventually. I mean, I think you say you have to like drag your left foot or something like that in order for the move to sell. Because I, I, I didn't understand it at first. But yeah, you know, thanks to him. I learned the crossover. Not only that, um, there's this move I like to do a lot. I see him do it in like all his videos. Uh, oh, I'll show you right now. 
Yeah, that move. I don't. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, I learned how to do that move from watching her. I learned how to do that move, and I learned how to do the crossover from watching Dre. Um, and, you know, I practiced it, like, every day in high school. Like, from, what was it, freshman year? I think, yeah, I think it was freshman year. I practiced this all throughout high school. And, uh, yeah, man, Dre, you're, you're awesome, dude. Your videos are cool. You, um, you have an awesome personality. And you're very real. <laughs> That's one thing. Dre is real. He tells it like it is. Andrea, you're an awesome guy, okay? Awesome. If you're seeing this, why don't you know you're an awesome guy? Anybody, you want to work on your game, or you want to learn new moves, watch Dre Baldwin. I think his YouTube channel is Dre Baldwin. <laughs> so, yeah, you can go watch him on YouTube. Check him out. He's awesome. Um, what else? Um, who else can I give a shot? Oh, yeah. Um, what's his name? Kick, oh yeah, Kick Genius. Yo, you guys are awesome, bro. <laughs> I'm watching your videos. I'm watching this dude with the, um, like, mohawk type thing. Yeah, this dude, he, like, he goes to, like, um, like, like, pickup games, and then he starts, like, dunking on everybody. It's freaking awesome, dude. I'm like, I don't know why you guys never made a push for the NBA. You guys are, like, what, my, actually, I think I'm, like, younger than you guys but you guys are like how come you guys never made a push for the NBA you guys are crazy good like like you guys would be a force to be reckoned with man um but you know I, I guess like you guys already pretty much set with um, your kick genius channel and everything so um you know keep up the good work your videos are awesome too I looked at your uh your dribbling drills and your uh like your vertical jump drills and stuff like that actually I haven't worked on my vertical jump that much because I've been focusing more on ball handling because uh, I want to be like like Chris Paul you know like have his kind of have Chris Paul you like never steal the ball from Chris Paul dude so. I would like I would love to have like Chris Paul type of, I actually um looked at a couple of Chris Paul's drills and stuff to get his kind of to get to get close to his handles because he's I think I'm a, a little more well, I'm younger like way younger than Chris Paul so I'm like a little more, I wouldn't say athletic, but um, a little more spry than he used to be. Your spoil used to, like, he, he's still a force to be right with, but like he, back then, dude, he was like unstoppable, dude. Um, well, oh yeah, I love basketball TV. You're awesome, dude. Um, yeah, the guy with the, everybody has that haircut, dude. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even think it's called a mohawk. I don't know. It's like some kind of, it's like a, fade kind of mohawk hybrid yeah that guy he's awesome man i looked at he's um there was this video he said five it was like five moves you needed to learn to be unguardable i watched that um what else did i watch um i think i did look at his um his his uh shooting kind of drill i think i also looked at a, um a video where he was training uh, um what was it a um a euro league player or something like that and yeah, I was, I was watching that, and I think it was like 20 minutes long. It's pretty long, but for the most part, that that helped me out too. So yeah, I love basketball TV. You're awesome, dude. Coach, coach something. I can't remember his name. Coach something, but I know it's like his YouTube channel. Is I love basketball TV. That guy is awesome. Okay, and he's short. He's short, and he will freaking destroy you. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what this video was for, man. Just give it. Oh yeah. Um. Also, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, you're awesome, dude. Um. Yeah. Like back in um. What was it? Like post high school, where he was um. You, <laughs> you actually was gonna train me for free. Like that's that was real nice, man. I think you, yeah. We we met at the recreation center, and you, you said he was gonna train me for free. Show me some moves and everything to help me out, and that was that was awesome, man. You're you're an awesome guy. Okay. So yeah, I just had to give you a shout out too, you know, because a lot of people th seem to think that uh, I uh, self-taught myself. But I would be lying if I said that. <laughs> I mean, I never played on a basketball team, but for the most part, I never stopped working on my game. I mean, you can work on your game anywhere, dude. Like, you don't even need to be on a team to work on your game. I mean, but for the most part, you can also you can also learn a lot from being on a team, like how how to um what was the word 
how to, well, you know, just being on a team is a lot different than playing pickup ball, because, you know, dudes don't like to pass around here, okay, <laughs> especially in Brooklyn, okay, everybody in Brooklyn think they're freaking Kobe Bryant and shit, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, for the most part, yeah, I just wanted to give some shout outs to you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, um crazy. <laughs> got the, I guess, got the youngins coming out here in the freezing cold playing basketball too, I guess. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do some drills right quick and then, yeah, probably close out this video. Okay, so, yeah. See you guys.